We're asked to classify each transformation mapping as one-to-one -one onto both or neither. Looking at our notes below, we'll focus on the second bullets, where if a transformation is one-to-one -one or injective, every vector B in Rm has at most one corresponding input vector X in Rn. And if a transformation is onto or surjective, every vector B in Rm has at least one corresponding input vector X in Rn. Notice the only difference in the definitions is that for one-to-one, -one, every vector B in Rm has at most one corresponding input vector in Rn, at most meaning zero or one, and a transformation is onto if every vector B in Rm has at least one corresponding input vector in Rn, at least meaning one or more. Looking at the mappings, remember we can think of vectors as points, and therefore we have four vectors in Rm, three of which have one corresponding input, and the third vector has zero corresponding inputs. So because the four vectors in Rm have, have one or zero corresponding inputs, it does satisfy the requirement for a one-to-one -one transformation, where again, every vector in Rm has at most one corresponding input vector x in Rn. And therefore, the transformation is one-to-one. -one. However, it's not onto because notice how to be onto Every vector in Rm has at least one corresponding input vector in Rn. So because this third vector does not have a corresponding input, this is not an onto transformation. Now looking at the second mapping, notice how we have two vectors in Rm, where the first vector has one corresponding input, and the second vector has two corresponding inputs. So because the second vector has two corresponding inputs, it does not meet the requirements for a one-to-one -one transformation where there can be at most one corresponding input vector for each vector B in Rm. So it's not one-to-one, -one. however, it is an onto transformation because, again, every vector in Rm does have at least one corresponding input in Rn. Again, having one or two inputs does meet the requirement of having at least one corresponding input. The mapping of the second transformation is on to, but not one to one. And now looking at the third mapping, notice how each of the vectors in Rm has exactly one corresponding input vector in Rn. This meets the requirement for both a one to one and on to transformation. Each vector in Rm having exactly one corresponding input does meet the requirement of having at most one, as well as at least one. This last transformation is one to one and on to. I hope you found this helpful.